Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been thinking about you today and why. Today is the 28th of September, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.17am. And Sag, I'm giving away free personal reading for a lucky winner once a week. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Sagittarius. It's free to subscribe. If you've commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Sag, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Sagittarius. Who has been thinking about Sagittarius and why? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It feels like this person has been longing for you. And also the Two of Pentacles, they're unsure. They're unsure if they should work with you or fix things with you. The Tower here is in love first. I feel like at one point in time, Satch, you and this person, both of you have had the Tower moment. Because it's in reverse, so that means something has happened between the two of you. It probably ended in a very ugly fashion, or it was a drama, or very abruptly. It ended very abruptly, but I feel like this person is uncertain in terms of, can this be fixed? Can I undo the damages that may have been done to this situation and to this connection? And Four Pentacles is in reverse. They are contemplating whether they should open up and talk to you. But also at the same time, I see them holding back, right, with the strength here. And this person possibly has an ego, and it's kind of difficult for them to admit, to admit their fault. So we've also got these seven of wands here. Perhaps this is somebody who likes to, you know, thinks that, somebody who thinks that they are right all the time. But now they're contemplating whether they were actually right because the justice here is in reverse they wonder if they have done you wrong and three of pentacles thinking about fixing things with you talking to you and also we've got the knight of wands in reverse this may also be somebody such that you have decided okay I'm done. I'm blocking this person. I don't want to talk to this person anymore. This person has done me so unjustly with the justice here in reverse. I feel like this is somebody you have tried your best to deal with. And they may be somebody whom is very difficult to deal with. We've got the Queen of Cups. Now, Satch. This person is starting to realize that you're not a bad person, that you meant well, that you're, you've been actually kind to them. Um, this person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, can be any sign or somebody like you are, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Hangman, Nada Swords, and Lovers. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who has said something really, really mean to you. And now they want to take it back. But they don't know how to take it back. So they could be contemplating, should I say something to Satch? Possibly apologizing or trying to fix things. But they wonder if it's too late because the way things ended was pretty bad. And we've also got the hangman here. This person could also be a Pisces. Now they're rethinking, they're rethinking about, I think this person has been really harsh to you, okay? They may have yelled at you, screamed at you, or very aggressive towards you. Could be physically, but mainly I feel it's verbally. This person can be very verbally abusive or verbally aggressive. 
Now they wonder, should I have said this to Saj? Should I have overreacted or reacted that way? Seems really harsh, but let's see a bit more. Not a once and one first, two ones, four ones and one first, two cups and one first. Yeah, this is somebody you don't get along with. For some of you, it's a romantic connection, but for some of you, it could be somebody who works with you or has worked with you before. Could be platonic as well, a friend. Um, just take what resonates, okay? But two cups and one verse indicates some sort of separation or something that wasn't aligned between the two of you. But I think both of you were kind of close, okay? Or well, very close. Could have been best friends or worked closely together could have been somebody you were romantically connected to for once and one first yeah one point in time i feel like things were great things were kind of stable between two of you but something happened um such and it feels like maybe somebody said something very impulsively and they probably right now they could be thinking now two of wands should i have said these things should i have said the these things to Saj? maybe it was uncalled for maybe i should have reacted differently not a wands in one first this is your energy but again it could go vice versa sagittarius leo aries somebody behaved badly here uh Saj. so they could be thinking should I take actions towards Saj? But bear in mind again, Saj, this person has an ego, so they may or may not come forward, but I do see them feeling really frustrated right now. They don't know what to do. They understand and know that they have done you unjustly, they have treated you unfairly. I still feel it's something they have said. Maybe I think Sash is somebody who acted very defensively and because of their defenses, they just blurted out the words that they shouldn't have. And it may have caused, may have caused chaos, a separation, an ending, or the situation just went really badly. Um, Eight of Wands here is in one first. Now they're starting to put their guards down. And they're rethinking everything. Could they have dropped the ball? They could also be thinking about, maybe I should have kept it to myself. Maybe I should have filtered my, my words before I said something. Maybe I should have held back from saying these mean things to Sagittarius. Because Queen of Cups, essentially, I feel like they do care about you. They do love you. Yeah. I feel like such. It is somebody who home is questioning again if they should have said these things to you. Let's pull out more cards. Yeah. King of Swords. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Chris. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords in one first. They've been analyzing, they've been thinking, and King of Swords, this is somebody who thought that they were right. Everything I said was right, and their words could be very cutting and too honest, too brutally honest. They thought they were right, but now they're questioning it. Was I right? Should I have said that? Should I have held back my tongue? And Nine of Swords here. They've been losing sleep, or maybe this person has anxiety issues, insomnia, overthinking, overanalyzing. I feel like this is somebody who takes things too personally. Maybe something was being said, and again, like they're too defensive. They were too defensive, and they may have acted out in a way where I feel like now they're regretting. They wish they could pull back their words. They wish they could have had more control over the emotions, over their words. But I think maybe 
you know, their feelings were kind of hurt, or maybe this is somebody very sensitive. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, Sag, this is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, all info is below. Make sure you subscribe. It's free to subscribe, yeah? And also interact with this video as much as you can by liking, sharing, commenting, hitting on the bell notification button. And Sag, I'm going to be giving away free personal readings during my live stream on this channel sometime in October, mid-October. So make sure, again, it's very important that you hit on the bell notification button, okay? That way you'll be notified when I go live and when I announce it on the community's, uh, community, I was going to say community center, <laughs> community page. Take care, Saj. I hope to see you back here again soon. Love you. Bye.